What do you consider is your greatest frisky achievement? I was going down on my wife once and apparently I was doing too well. She punched me in the forehead out of nowhere and I asked what the hell. She said she was about to black out. I still bring that one up with her. We now have a discord. Check out the server in the link in the description. Story 2. Conditioning my boyfriend to stand at full salute when Benny and the Jets plays. He was complaining one day that he hated the song, so I decided to go down on him whenever it played to give him better memories to associate with it. Benny and the Jets now makes him a combo of frisky and mad. Story 3. About eight and a half months ago, my wife and I decided we were going to start trying to have a baby. My wife even joked around that if I could get her pregnant by February, she would buy me a brand new Boston Bruins jersey. She always had this insecurity that she might not be able to get pregnant or it might be tough. I decided to make things a little spicy and banged her right on the kitchen table, and she said it was hands down her favorite time. Anyway, I should get to meet my daughter in about two weeks. I will be wearing my jersey. Story 4. Banging someone way out of my league both looks-wise and book-smart-wise, then marrying her and knocking her up. Story 5. My younger brother had a female friend who I hooked up with one night casually when we were teens. Some heavy petting and reaching into each other's underwear. She then told me she was a virgin and was ready to sleep with me. I told her she should wait and lose it to someone who she loved to make it special. Years later, we bumped into each other and had a few drinks. Both now being single, she invited me back to her house and divulged that she'd always been thankful that she'd held on to it and did lose it to a guy that she loved at the time. Then we admitted that we had both fantasized about each other since and proceeded to have some crazy, drunk, unbridled banging. It was like five years of foreplay. Edit. Some extra details. I was 18, she was 16. My brother was dating someone else at the time. We dated for a year after our eventual rendezvous. There was a more elaborate dialogue between us than summarized above. She tentatively said that she felt she was ready to lose her virginity to me. We were both on the bed in my bedroom at this point. We fooled around some more. I asked if she was sure. Maybe she'd rather save it for a relationship rather than on a first-time hookup. It was over 20 years ago. I can't recall verbatim. I was in university. She was in high school. We had different social circles, and I knew there was no prospect of forming a relationship. I would have felt like a jerk to have slept with her and then ghosted her. We fooled around some more. Then she reflected that she did want Want to wait. If she had said, no, I'm certain I've thought about this and I want it, then giddy up. Props to OP. We love a respectful man. Story 6. After several years of marriage, my wife finally learned how to be comfortable enough during the act to finish, and I finally learned what the hell I was doing to help her get there. Feeling her muscles spasm around my fingers as her fingers grip the sheets and the sounds, best feeling ever. Okay, look, there's this, like, whole guide on how he did it in an edit. Quite frankly, I'm just looking through this. I don't see any way I could do this with a uh, YouTube-friendly language. So, if you want to know, you can, uh, you can try to find it yourself. Best of luck out there, everybody. Story 7. I've shared this before, but it was such a unique achievement. Once, I was banging with my girlfriend after taking a shower and I had water stuck in my ear. At the exact same time as I finished, my ear popped and I felt washed over by such a bizarre and amazing combination of senses. It's really hard to describe how good this eargasm felt. Truly ineffable. I've tried many times since then to replicate this, but have not been successful thus far. OP, oh, when you mean you've tried to replicate this, do you mean you've put water in your ear intentionally before doing it? Because I, I hope not. That just sounds unnecessary and uncomfortable. Story 8. I was giving my wife a session dedicated to her, and after a while she finishes for the first time for the night. There hadn't been any penetration up to that point, so she asked me to get on top and rough her up. She then tells me that rough penetration after finishing sometimes feels as good as finishing itself. Anyway, I get on top and I last all of about a, a minute, because I'm already at 99% just from her moaning and seeing her squirm for the previous half hour. She can tell what's going on and asks me if I'm finishing, and when I tell her I am, she starts her second just as I finished mine. It's so intense it feels like she's about to pinch my dong off and then she squirts for the first time. My wife has finished multiple times a couple times before, but this was the first time I had ever seen a woman squirt. I always thought it was a fake adult video thing, but she confessed to me that she'd been feeling the sensation more often over the past few months and had been holding it back. We keep towels next to the bed now. Story 9. My first girlfriend wanted to see how many times we could bang in one day, so we planned a bangathon and spent the entire day doing it and doing it and doing it. Every other thing we did was bang. Bang, breakfast, bang, shower, bang, TV, bang, order pizza, bang, tip delivery driver, bang, eat pizza, bang. 
We did it 10 times in a 24-hour period. Later in life, I had another girlfriend who asked what's the most I'd ever banged in a day. When I told her this, she said, we can beat that. So I did the same thing again, but we didn't make it to 11, just tied at 10. Both of them were named Ashley. OP has the stamina of a fertility god, I swear. 10 times in a day? Like, look, I'm sure. There's probably people listening to this that are like, oh, fuck, I could do 10 times a day. Are you sure? Are you sure? I feel like it's that whole thing when people were like, can you eat 50 chicken nuggets? And people are like, oh yeah, 50 nuggets is easy. And then they'd get to like 43 and then tap out. It probably sounds like it's a lot more manageable and will be a lot more fun than it actually is. But hey, if OP did it twice, it couldn't have been that bad. Story 10. I got an ex of mine to finish so hard she began spasming like she was having a seizure, and I called 911 for help. They arrived four minutes later. We were only two blocks from a hospital. They showed up as my ex finally stopped spasming. She was super embarrassed and one of the paramedics looked up at me and nodded before leaving. Okay. OP, just for reference, I don't know how good you think you are at this, but four minutes of spasming where she cannot communicate with you, that would be a seizure, I think. I don't think that could be just written off as a real good nut. Story 11. I was on a Tinder date with a woman who is very forthcoming about just having a lot of casual dates, and casual banging if the date goes well. She asked me, what do you know about making a woman finish? I said, I know that regardless of gender, most people need about four minutes on average of consistent, meaningful stimulation in order to climax. She giggled and did that, yeah, okay, thing. About an hour later, I proved it. Story 12. My girlfriend and I were drunk in our kitchen and started banging at our dinner table. We have these old mid-century modern Danish teak chairs that are old as hell. Well, she was riding me while I sat on the chair. I was getting real into it and was about to bust, so I decided to give more vigorous thrusts. Well, as I was about to finish, the chair legs gave out, and as we were suspended in midair, I was climaxing. When we hit the floor, the impact was like the second wave, and all I could do was laugh as I couldn't believe I just nut in midair. I then looked at my girlfriend and she had the opposite look on her face, a look of horror. She looked at her leg and so did I. The chair leg had broken to a sharp spear-like object and stabbed her through the calf. We freaked out and drove her to the hospital. She was fine and it didn't cause any serious injuries other than stitches. I remember it as being the best climax of my life, and she remembers it as being spit-roasted by me and a Danish chair. Story 13. Three months after my ex of five years and I broke up, we were talking. Really good breakup, all things considered. No fight, just talking and sad, but for the best. And I had a moment of weakness and started asking if she had been hooking up with anyone else. I hadn't even tried and wasn't interested yet, since we were each other's firsts, and I just wasn't mentally ready. She didn't want to tell me anything, but I pushed like an idiot, and she told me that she banged seven guys already in the three months we'd been separated, and hooked up with others too, but didn't bang. I was freaking devastated and broken. She let guys do things to her she never let me do, even though I wanted to and knew I could. And even though we dated for five years, worst time of my life. A week later, I matched with someone on Tinder that was hot and was just looking for a hookup and, long story short, after talking for a little and deciding on hooking up, I got there and we started making out and getting intimate. And her roommate walked out of her room and just joined us like it was normal. Freaking mind-blowing banging occurred. I was on my best game and they were both incredible. They knew each other's bodies so well and I somehow had the best banging I have ever had and it was just completely random. Looking back, I feel like the girls had planned to have a three-way and I was just the lucky guy they ended up deciding on. But that completely restored all my confidence and cured my sadness for sure. And to put the cherry on top, my ex is hardcore trying to bang me again. Now a year we've been apart, but still may have feelings and I'm 100% over it. But I'm DTF, so life is good. OP, this is gonna come too late and you're never gonna hear me say this, but do not do it. You may think you're 100% over it and just down, but uh, it's not worth it. Listen to me, brother, it's not worth it. Story 14. Sorry for my bad English, it's my second language. Not sure if this fits here, not proud of the moment, but I am proud of the result. Me and my wife had kids and decided that that was enough children. We got married after the kids were born and went on a honeymoon. We got drunk and banged without protection. The next day, we panicked a bit and went to a drugstore and got a regret pill. My wife took it to the hotel room. Crisis cancelled. After this, we thought nothing about it and continued with the honeymoon. Like half an hour later, she gave me a blowy. She never ever gives them to me as she chokes easily, so this was a real treat for me. When I finished, I finished hard. And the shot landed at the back of her mouth. And she puked 
all over the floor and my dong. We laughed it off and joked about it for the rest of the vacation. A few weeks after when we came home, she didn't get her period. We got anxious and it turned out that she was pregnant. The only time we had banged without protection was at the hotel room. When she puked after the blowy, she must have puked out the pill as well. So now we have uh, three kids. The youngest is as amazing as the other two and I'm proud to have him, but he must never, ever find out how he was conceived. Story 15. So I had my first threesome literally four days ago, which had been a bucket list item since I was 17. 34 now. It had been something I fantasized about and luckily I'm with a girl who I can be completely open and honest about my desires to, and vice versa. We ended up hooking up with her best friend, and my girlfriend curated it exactly how I had fantasized about it, and much more. And we all had an incredible time. It was bonkers hot. After we finished and her friend left the next morning, she asked me if it was everything I'd hoped for. I told her, I think I just won life, and we're doing it again in two days. People, find someone who matches your drive and kinkiness. Intimate honesty with a partner you truly love results in the best achievements. Maybe this is a hot take? Threesomes? Multiple partner stuff? Not for me. I haven't even really thought about it and I'm just not interested. Seems like it could get messy too easily and honestly, I don't know, just the idea of it is not that appealing to me. I guess I'm just a boring monogamous boy. Story 16. I have two. The first was when I banged my high school bully's sister. The strange thing is he knew about it and still tried to bully me in front of my friends. He really did set himself up for embarrassment. The second one was in college. After I broke up with my ex, they went to our mutual friend's house and tried to start a whole bunch of drama. One of the reasons I'm still friends with all of them is because they knew me well enough to call BS on what my ex told them. However, even during all of that, at the end of it, my ex still said, But I gotta say, OP can bang. I've been riding that high for years. Story 17. My current girlfriend and I have been dating since late 2018. Now, I haven't been with too many women, but I've always tried to be attentive and make sure they were satisfied as well as I. So it wasn't just me getting off. When we first started dating, she was very open about what she liked and what felt good. I'm pretty good at picking up cues and was pretty familiar with female anatomy. With my fingers, I managed to find the most sensitive area and got her to finish and squirt at the same time. She was surprised and I was surprised. Since then, I've managed to keep her extremely satisfied whenever we bang. Our record for squirts in a row was eight times. She needed a break afterward. I've also been able to get the same result with my tongue and my donk, not at the same time, I'm not a contortionist. Though not as frequently and not as many times in a row. Story 18. Had a one night stand with an older lady. Weeks later with a woman and her bi fiance. A few months later with a random girl other side of town. Few months after that, I saw a family photo in this girl's room. All of them were related. Mom, oldest sister slash fiance, cousin, and younger sister. It wasn't on my frisky bucket list, but it was promptly added and crossed off. Edit. For those thinking this was a lil hick town, I'm Hispanic. They were Hispanic and we live in a major city. OP. No way. There- No way. Even if that had happened, the fact that you would see a family photo and that's how you- No way. This one's too sitcom-y for me. Story 19. My first girlfriend was a virgin and so was I. So we experienced everything together. First time oral, penetration, butt stuff, bondage, SM, BDSM, foot job, boob job, you name it. We definitely didn't like everything. And we were not fit enough to really enjoy half of it to be honest. We hurt ourselves sometimes and were scared to try out the most hardcore things. But we were scared together and always respected the boundaries the other one set. So my accomplishment was finding such a person who helped me become an open and respecting partner. Story 20. Convinced my girlfriend, now wife, to try butt stuff. She agreed to try it on my birthday as a gift, which gave me a little over two weeks to study. I read everything I could find on how to make women enjoy butt stuff. I'm a butt man and I knew I was only going to get one chance and I had to hit a home run. Must have done something right because we're married now and do butt stuff several times per week usually. But the best part is I overheard my wife talking to her sister about it. My sister-in-law asked, doesn't it hurt? It hurt when I did it. My wife responds, if it hurt, he didn't do it right. Andy and I do it all the time. It doesn't hurt and I love it. Story 21. In my college, there was a hot girl, probably the hottest in town. She was a good friend and we went on many dates. I asked her to bang many times, but she plainly refused every time. 
Years later, we met again as she moved to my city. I was married with a kid and she was a divorcee with a kid, but still as hot as she was in college. She became a good friend of my wife. She was staying with her orthodox parents and was not getting it for almost three years. She started talking to me on the phone and often said how lonely she was. She even wanted to get back to her husband, not to apologize or anything, but only to cure her loneliness occasionally. But the guy was simply not interested. Once when I was alone at my house as my wife was away to her parents with the kid and my parents had gone to their annual excursion, she came dressed in a sleeveless blouse and transparent sari, I'm an Indian, with a smug smile on her face. From one look at her I knew that she wanted it and wanted it badly. I asked her in and we went on talking. One thing led to another and in the end she said it clearly and threw herself at me. I gently pushed her away and refused. I refused her not because I wanted to get even with her on something, such things hardly matter, but I didn't want to break the trust of my wife, though there is a little monotony in banging with her, but still I prefer to not have it outside because somehow I felt I won't be able to face her again. Story 22. Having a fivesome in my bed. I threw a party and there were drugs involved. We were all part of the Florida rave scene and this was after they shut the clubs down and literally bulldozed one. With nowhere to go, we started to hold them at my place every now and then. I walked in my bedroom and found my girlfriend and two of her friends fooling around in my bed. I apologized for barging in and went to leave. They told me to stay. A moment later, another one of her friends came in from the door that exited on my patio. It was summer and she was wearing a bikini top and jean shorts. GF says, Come on, Alicia, take your top off and join us. She pulled the strings as she walked to the bed. What an awesome night that turned out to be. 